I will show you how I tr um, usually solve my criddles. As you can see, one of my practice ones I actually did solve it. Solving criddles tend to be a lot harder, so I will work you guys through how I usually try. I might get it. I might not get it. We'll find that out today. So let's do a new practice. What I usually like to start with is a uh, word like alive, alone. I know like there's this other word I think I cannot pronounce it well ideal. It's spelled like this, I think. Something like that. And I know that's typically a good starter word, so I'll start it, it off today and see how that works. Okay, so as you guys can see here, we have an A and an I. So this is our most this is the most information that we have been given so far in the game. So typically what you want to start with is that looking down here and start like going with A words. Okay, so let's see. A and I. Hmm. What I usually like to do, and others don't, I like to get a lot of letters, information. So I have I, E, U, and A. So I don't have an O. So I usually like to see where there is an O. So maybe... Hmm. O. M. N. I don't want to use that because I already have that. But I can do this. Like woman, for example. So now I know that these have an O. And that the A here does not work well in this situation. So this, in this case, it could be considered a waste of a turn, but it's fine. At least I know that these two have O's in it, so that's nice to know. Hmm. Oh, so these are only like O vowels too. Okay. I bet there's going to be an L in it. I think there would be an L. Hmm. So right now, I'm trying just different words. I know W isn't in it, however, hmm. I really want to use an L in this, and I also want to use a Y, or like R, T, Y, and L are good letters, that's what I do know. Hmm. So I already used an L, okay. Um, you could do like crypt, because in crypt it uses all new letters, it's C, R, Y, P, and T. So I'll use that. Okay, nice, nice. This gives me really good information. So I know, for example, this bottom left one, we have C and R, and it's going to be an O somewhere there. Hmm, so it could be C, R, O, continuation, or it can be C, R, and you, it could be so much there. And this one, we have an R and T here, and then we have an R here. And then we know this has a C. Actually, we have almost all the letters, so this is how I usually like to put it out first, and then I try to figure it out. Why do I feel like it's going to end with an IC? No, never mind. It starts with an A for sure. Tick. 
So what if it was like this? Like art? No, it cannot be Arctic. Never mind. We used an R. Attic. Let's try that. Let's go. See, we got this one here, which is good. Okay, so now we just need to f focus on these two in the left and the one on the top right here. Okay. Didn't really help us here, to be honest, in the top and bottom, but that's fine. So we have T, R, O, and we know that R and T are here, and then there's going to be an O here. So if it was to do, be like this. Let's see. T. So it could be, it can't be C. What would make sense right next to T in this situation? It cannot be... Could it be S? Actually, could S work in this situation? ST. Like Frost. It could actually be Frost. But before I say Frost, let's see. So you have the R and T in this situation. We have the O. The O is used. We haven't used S or F yet, so I think that's a good guess. Let's go. Okay. Nice. We are making much progress, and we have like four left to spare for these two. So that's great. Okay, so good news. So for this one, we have basically everything. So we have C-R-O, and then since we know that... Oh, wait. Yeah. C-R-O, basically. Yeah. And now... What could it potentially end in? So, it could be... Hmm. It could be Crook. Crook does work in this situation. It could be... Hmm. Maybe... Wait, is this a word? Oh, that is actually a word. Okay. I feel like it's going to end with a K, for sure. I think it does end with an A. Actually, I'll come back to this one. So then we have this one here, which is about the same thing. We have an R, and then we have the S. So if it was like this, X, R, A, S, then X again. So that could end with a H? So if it were to end with an H, right? It cannot be crash. Crash, crash. I don't think crash is a word. It might be, and I just don't know. Thrash. And it can't be C, because we've already used C. It could be brash, though. Hmm. Wait, is that how you spell is brash a word? Let me just try it. That is a word. Oh, wow. Okay. That is really good. That is really, really good. So it's not brash. It could be brass. Like with an S, though. Like the brass instrument. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Brass. Okay, let's go. So we only have two spots left. And so we have C-R-O. Oh, no, not the Y. C R O. Um, and all we have here is those three letters. So what we know is that. Hmm. I don't think Q is going to work in this situation. O could work. L. Let's see. Is this a word? No, that's not a word. Okay. Crook. Is that how you, that's how you spell crook, right? Like that. Of the letters we have left, we know it cannot... We know that we have to see... Actually, oh wow, this is really good. Hmm. I feel like I'm probably overthinking this, though. Let's try crook. Okay. 
So we know that it just ends with a K. Um, is this a word? Okay, that's not a word. I think it's going to be a CK. But before I say that, this is also a word. That's not a word. Yeah, I'm going to go with the CK. Oh my goodness, let's go. Oh wow, glory be to God. Okay, wow. I got it, and that's basically how I tried to solve this. This is the way, that's my thinking process. I just look, I usually like to have two, like you see, getting as much layers information as I can, and then from there I try to figure it out. Okay, nice. If you like these kind of videos, please hit subscribe and like the video. And if you want to comment below if you want to see more of these kind of videos or if you have any ideas. And I'll see you in the next one.